Hello everyone, Raptrex here. As you can see, I'm back in FTB, ready for another episode. Uh, now, I have a lot of things planned for today, uh, but I want to talk about a few things that I've done. Um, I, men I mentioned last time that I was going to make a few machines, um, namely the macerator, the extractor, and the compressor. Um, you know, they're pretty simple to make. I've showed you guys the recipe already in the last episode. Uh, and I just wanted to get some things out of the way and uh, just get ready with the layout. Uh, I guess that's what I want to do today. Another thing, another thing you might notice is that my uh, map has changed. I'm now using the the Voxel mod uh, mini map. I think it's called Zay or something along those lines in the mod pack. It's actually already uh, pre-downloaded. Uh, it's just disabled and you can disable Opis. Opis? Opus, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, which is the other mod pack that it's uh, enabled by default. You can disable that one and then enable this one. Uh, I kind of like this one better because it shows uh, a mixture. It's kind of like a hybrid between uh, outside overworld and underground area. Uh, the other one you can you, you can enable it and disable the underground. You can't have both of them at the same time. And it shows the mobs, so it's kind of nice. And uh, it kind of moves around. I know you can enable that in the other one. But uh, I don't know. I just like the way this one looks a little bit better. Aesthetic aesthetically. God, that was hard to say. Um, right, so. Uh, I moved my uh, elevator to this side. So that way it's a little bit easier to get around since my chests are up there. Um, so first things first. Um, I need to connect all these machines. Now, originally, I was thinking of doing it out of tin cable since uh, it's 32 EU per tick. So it's not, you know it wouldn't be a problem but I'm just gonna go straight to copper because it's 128 and um, it just seems a logical thing to do because the jump from 32 to 128 um, you, you I mean it's gonna be imminent I mean it's something that's gonna happen might as well just go for it since I have some copper and then not waste 10 making some cables I'm just gonna replace eventually actually let's see how much we can do right now without actually because I'm pretty sure I have a lot of things here already that I can use. So I already have 14 cables here. I'm hoping... I'm pretty sure I left some rubber cooking up there. I obviously don't want to cook too much because uh, I do have an extractor that I already made. So I just want to use that. Um, so let's see. I want to connect this here. There we go. And this will go into the CESU, correct. Alright, so that's connected. Obviously this has no cop no um no coal in it, so it's not producing power. But this will output at one twenty eight, which I can uh convert right away actually. I'm just gonna put a cable in between. That way I can always uh then withdraw power from there. Uh, where's my LV? There it is, LV transformer. Now the LV transformer, I'm not used to this interface because it's the default one. I'm always kind of been using the this fax texture packs. I'm used to that one. So bear with me while I test this out. Um, by testing out, I mean I'm probably gonna blow something up. So uh, let's just grab a bit of coal. Some cows outside. Making lots of noise. All right. Let's see here. Let's put some coal there. Some more coal here. I know we'll probably be wasting some power while I set this up properly. All right. So at least power is going to CESU. That's good. Now this, on the other hand, I want to see how this works. Um, what can I live without? What's easier to make? I think compressor is the easiest thing to make. Um, well actually macerators. Alright, so that's not receiving any power just yet. And obviously this is not where the machine is going to be kept. It's going to be kept upstairs, but I don't want to... Actually, that's my furnace, I believe. Yep. Oh no, that's a metaformer. So next to it should be my furnace. Um, right, so I need my uh, wrench. Okay, that's not what was supposed to happen, and I just broke my wrench as well. Yep, sure did. Alright, so let's see. I'm pretty sure I have some bronze already cooked up, so let's cross my fingers here. Yeah, plenty of bronze. So let's just grab a few of these, a few of those. And just make myself a quick wrench. Cool. Just put that bronze thing away. 
Come on, run. Alright, um... Some of these tools, I swear. I gotta make myself a nap- Oh, I did make myself a knapsack. I forgot I made one, so why is it not- Okay, now it's showing up. It's a bit weird. So I'm just gonna put some of these tools away. Since I'm not gonna be using them. Torches. Water. Miner's bag. What do I have in here? Huh. I'm gonna clean that out later. But I just gotta put that away in here for now. So I have a better inventory management. Alright, um, enough talking. So let's get this thing like this. It's not receiving any power. That's not doing it. That's not doing it. Hmm. I know there's one way, that's, there's one that needs to be the input, and then I believe all the other ones are going to be the output, so. It's going to be either that one, or maybe that's going to be the output. But I'm pretty sure that's how it was set up before. Oh, crap. Um, didn't know this had an interface now. Fixed, step up, step down, redstone, step up. What the hell does this stuff mean? Fix step down. Should be step down because it's coming from 128 into 32. Wow, this is almost halfway. And those four generators are doing not doing a bad job of filling this thing up. Even though I've been talking for a good five minutes now. Um, I don't want to do step up because I know that would just mess it up. So let me just try setting it up like that. Alright. Huh. Fixed step down. Okay, so if I get that one or that side. So there's this one side that's the input. This should be this one. Um Power to EU. I did something one. Oh, that's how much it uses? Not sure. I don't know. All I know is the internal buffer is not filling up for some odd reason. And, um. Alright, let's see. Step up. Let's see what that does. Maybe blows it up. <laughs> Redstone, step up. Do I have a lever with me? Come on. Should be stepped down. Hmm. This is rather frustrating. So let me just try to run the cable through the back. It shouldn't make a difference, but who knows? There's no power coming out. Maybe, maybe this thing needs an output. Um, redstone behavior do nothing. Um, redstone behavior emit full. Okay, that's a pretty much nothing. Okay, that's pretty much the same thing. But I'm thinking now, if maybe this thing has an output slot. I've been thinking all along that it might have been this thing. Ah, look at that! Dang it! All right, so this stupid CESU only has one output, which makes sense if now now to think about it with. Uh, the other machines, the MFE and MFSU. Okay, so that's working now. Took me a while, um, but it's working. So I'm just gonna remove this cable, remove this machine. There you go. And uh, let's just organize this a little bit because it's kind of a mess right now. So cover that up. Cover that up. That as well. That way, I can see only the essentials. The essential parts, I guess. I shouldn't block this though, because I need to run the cable up here. Um, pretty sure I can reach it from there. So let's see. Uh, I do notice I'm gonna need a little bit more rubber, so I'm hoping there's some rubber here. There isn't. Huh. Okay, do have some rubber here though, so that's good. We have five cables, so let's just get a few more cables. Uh, that's bronze. 
Um, I also got the recipes that apparently the 32 I made last time can only can only be used for an advanced bat pack, <laughs> which is uh, yeah, that's a bit of a letdown. And I only need one for that, so apparently all these copper casings all wasted. Um, not good. Let's just get a few plates. How many users do I have left? Seven. Alrighty. Twelve in this one. Yeah, I'm glad I'm gonna be using the metal former for now on, so shouldn't be a problem. There we go, 16 cables, so that should be more than enough to take care of this. Alrighty. So, uh, that cable's running there. There. I'm actually gonna run it in the back. That just seems to be the logical thing to do. What I'm used to doing, at least. Great. I forget that these are like half blocks. Alright, so that's connected. Is it getting power? Yep, sure is. This should get power now. Let's cover that up. Cool. Alright, so let's just set up these machines in a somewhat logical form. Um compressor can stay here. Um next actually I want the macerator to be there. Yeah, next to the uh, next to the furnace. So just put. You know, what? I don't like where the furnace is. To be honest, metaformer, compressor. There you go, extractor. Because in this way, at least my logic says that I will remember how they're laid out. Most likely, I'll forget, and I have to recheck every time. But uh. That's fine. All right, electric furnace can stay here. Does that have cable in the back? Nope, it does not. So let's just put some, and then one more there for the macerator. Cool. So this is a good start. I have lots of uh, basic machines here. Let's see, let's see if I have some cobble here. Cover that up. Cool. Uh, obviously laying laying them out like this, I can't do much for automation. But what I'm thinking is going straight into Planet Logistics. There's a lot of other mods that I can use some kind of automation with pipes, tubes, and transfer nodes and stuff like that that I could use. Um, but I'm thinking, let's see how am I doing for shards. Yeah, that I have uh, over two stacks of searches quartz. Um, I don't need glowstone for it, and I have plenty of redstone and good decent amount of diamonds. So I'm not hurting for. Um, these materials. Um, maybe a little bit of iron, I could use a bit more, but that's into, um, unless I get into a, like automated uh, crafting and stuff like that. But I just want to get some basic interaction with these machines, like for example, the, the automatic export buses and stuff like that. Um, I, I have to do some research into them because, um, let's see, um, let's just look for through the mod list real quick. Apply to logistics, shouldn't be, it should be the first one here, really. Alrighty, so a lot of things have changed. Uh, ME cable, let's see how the recipe is for that. Um, Flux dust, okay, that's new. Sirtis quartz, nether quartz. Does it have to be nether quartz? Oh, that's gonna suck. Nether quartz dust, and how do you do that? Just nether quartz and a macerator, of course. Hmm. Well, that's something already of a hiccup because I do have some quartz, but uh, wasn't counting on having to need of needing that so soon. Okay, well I can deal with that. See precision import. See what is the difference between precision export and a very basic export? And that's where I'm gonna have to do some testing. I, I'm guessing I'll probably do some testing in the test world. And uh, I actually wanted to talk about that because in the test world I was uh, testing. Well, that's a little redundant, but uh, it's a valid point. Um, a way to get some power, at least a little bit of better power source uh, to begin with. Now, obviously, I, need, I have four generators, and my idea originally, and still is, to upgrade these to geothermal generators. Obviously, I need lava. Um, I could use the tesseract to bring the lava over. But that would, I mean, Tesseracts are from Thermal Expansion, which I haven't even started with. Um, 
so I definitely need to get a bit into thermal expansion. Let it be for uh, lava creation, because I can also use uh, magma crucible, which is what I've been testing with. I can use another rack to produce lava and power a, uh, I mean, magma crucible to create lava with another rack, then power the magmatic dynamos to power the magma crucibles. So it's kind of like a closed loop, and then there do, should be some excess lava flowing into tank, then then can be uh, used to power the ge geothermal generators. So it's a um, it's a bit of a wasted power because you have to power the magma crucible to make the lava. Um, but I think it's a pretty decent early game before you get the tesseract because the tesseract, if you guys don't know, and uh, I know some people mentioned it in the comments as well, but uh, now you can use them for fluid power and items, so it's a, a lot more powerful. This is only one of them, but you need this resonant ender, which is just ender pearls. Each one only gives you 250, and you need what? Four? Well, that's not bad. What did I think was a lot more expensive? Wait. Hmm. You need a thousand millibuckets. It's just one bucket of ender pearls, pretty much. And each ender pearl gives me one fourth of a bucket. So yeah, you only need four ender pearls. Maybe this part's the expensive part? Oh, so yeah, this is new. Iron glass is, you know, it's pretty much the same recipe. Diamond and durium. Hmm. Induction smelter. Pyrothium with ender blend. Oh, okay. Here's where it starts getting interesting, I guess. It's in the creation of the frame. Blaze powder, redstone, coal dust. Sulfur, that's not bad. Endurium blend. What is this? Tin dust. Tin, 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 tin. Shiny metal. Oh. Okay. That might be a tricky part. To resonant ender bucket. Okay, that's just a regular bucket of ender pearl, I guess. Yep, that's going to be a tricky part. The pulverized shiny metal. Because as far as you can. I know the only way to get shiny metal is through uh, ferrous ore processing in the pulverizer, not in the macerator. Unfortunately, I've been using the thermal expansion, uh, I mean not the thermal expansion, the Tinker's Construct to process all my ores, so obviously I haven't gotten any. I did get a few from uh, uh, a chest in a dungeon or somewhere, a temple, I, I don't know. I've got it from somewhere. Obviously not something I processed, I just kind of picked it up. So, I don't know if that might be enough. Because you need four of these bars. And, uh, to make this dust, you need two, well, two of these make two of those. So I can only need four of these dusts. Oh, I can do it. Yeah, I can pull that off. I only need one shiny metal one get to do all four. Okay, so that's, that's not that bad. Alright, so I have to do a little bit more thinking because I was thinking the Tesseract's a lot more expensive, maybe end game stuff. Obviously not. Um, the recipe has changed, but not that bad. Uh, I was thinking a lot worse. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm, it's, a, it's a long process. A lot of things to learn. Obviously, it's a new mod pack. Things that ha mods I haven't messed with in a long time and the ones that I did mess with have changed. So <laughs> it's a lot of adapting and uh, learning. So I hope you guys are enjoying the episode and the series. So yeah, until next time, bye.